Hey guys, this is your conductor, engineer, engineer Roy. Yeah, you heard that. <laughs> I ain't feeling good today. Uh, we're gonna open this box. It's the Herpa Ballman Libier uh, LTM 1300 6.2. Let's see what we got here. I had this for a while. I didn't want to open it until I felt like doing a video with it. I really, I was trying to get to it, but it just didn't happen. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's see what we got in here. Got the uh, the bill. I ordered this from Germany, so uh, it was seventy-seven euros and uh come up to 91 61 euros which i think it was like 80 85 dollars something like that okay so that's that then we got this stuff here and it's all in german on that side and uh in german on that side <laughs> oh boy Glad we don't have to read German, I guess, huh? All right, we'll put that over there to put it in the box. What the heck? All right, let's see what we got here. Oop, we got a piece that fell out. Oh, I think I got it upside down, doggone it. Oh, man, did I mess up? Oh, well, that's one way to do it. Okay, there you have it, the unboxing. Uh, well, let's see what's going on here. We got all that stuff there. We got this stuff that fell out. You guys saw it first. Okay, we got a lot of a lot of goodies here. These are the the booms. A lot of booms. God dang. Look at that. A lot of booms. Let's see. Get that boom out of there too. Woo wee. Boom, 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 boom. A boom there got a spool look at that will you it's actually got its own thread I'm sure these are the guardrails these uh, have to be the counterweights right and the counterweight holder and something there this fell out these are the jibs oh look here Got a little hook. Ooh, let's see. What well, looks like it has stuff in it too. I don't know what's going on here. Get this out. Ooh, nice. Oh man, that's got weight to it too. Look at that. Uh, let me check my position here. Make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, maybe. Should I zoom in? Nah, I guess it's alright. Okay, so uh, here it is. The wheels are nice. Look at that. Nice wheels. They're not real fast, you know, flowing. Got a nice bottom. Not all that great, though, huh? Got a little detail under there, but who looks underneath? But look at those tires, man, they're nice. Real, real nice tread pattern. Okay. Got the, uh, let's see if these come out. I'm sure they do. Let's see. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, they're coming. Don't want to break them. Gotta be so gentle. Oh, they are nice. Look at that. Really nice. Nice outriggers. Look at that. They really. They're sturdy. Look how wide they are. But they do come all the way out. Alright. Got nice pads. 
I don't know what. Oh, that's a little ball there. Okay, let's see if we can get these to come out. It's nice that they make them wide. Let's see if I can get it to come out. Man, they're really in there. That's good because they won't just fall out when you're trying to do something with them, huh? All right, so there, the outriggers are out. This one went back in. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, let's, uh, it rolls. <laughs> yeah, it rolls. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, then. It's got one, only uh, one uh, hoist shaft there. Guess that's all they need. All right, that comes out. We have, let's see what happens here. Do these really come out? Don't seem like they're moving. No. Well, we have all of these here. Guess I'll have to figure out how to move that, huh? Look at that. It turns really nice. And, uh, I don't know. I guess these are extra because they look just like them, right? I don't know. Maybe I have to try to read German, huh? I don't know. Let's see. Oh well, it's a mess, isn't it? And I'm sure that this is where the counterweight sits. That's the place for the counterweight. I don't know how that sits. I didn't do, I, I didn't get into this uh, no more than you guys. Hmm. Do these move? What goes on here? Well, we'll push that back down for right now. How does this go? Well, I know these are going to sit on here. That's for sure. That's obvious. They sit on there like that. Quite a bit of weight, too. Now, let's see. All right, so that sits like that. I know these... These will have to go like this on the side. Pretty sure that's how they go. They, yep. See, they, they go down to a, a certain amount. Maybe it goes this way. Nope, it's got to go this way. All right, so that goes that way. And, uh, of course, this one will go this way. And I know it's got to go back here somewhere. All right, let's raise this back up again. It doesn't, doesn't go. Where does it go? Guys, I can't figure out where this goes. I guess you'll have to look at the picture. Not knowing the picture. Got to get the German instructions out again. All right, it does show that these these come out. They have to. Oh, I see. It tells you to, to attach the uh, mirrors. Oh, there's some English. Look, the crane boom. Can be set up, it can be extended using the six telescopic tubes supplied. To do this, remove the boom head, insert the telescopic tubes into each other, assemble and replace the boom head. The length of the string is adjusted accordingly. The dummy telescopic tube is not required for this version. 
L O K. Let's see what it says here. All right, so snap the winch with the rolled up string into the winch fixture. The end of the adhesive tape has to show towards the crane arm. The tape can be removed after the winch is attached. Well, I don't worry about that right now. I want to get this weight on it. Look at that, man. Lead the end of the string over the cable guide. Depending on the load, the string can be pulled over the pulleys either once or several times and secured to the hook block. So this thing's made to actually uh, carry a load. It shows it shows where it can go uh, four times into one uh, block and three into the other. All right. For proper crane operation, the ballast weights enclosed must be installed. For this purpose, the two locking parts are turned 90 degrees outwards. So they're actually turned. The weight po package is docked from below. Oh! The ballast weights are locked in the position by turning the locking parts toward the center of the vehicle. Additional weights can also be attached on the left and right. So those are the additional weights. So let's see this. This uh, fastens from, I'm going to push these in for right now. Fastens from the bottom. Oh, I see. These, they turn. Look at that. They literally do turn. I didn't know that. And now we know, right? Okay, so these. All right, I see what you're saying there. All right, so that goes in. Ah, now that makes sense, doesn't it? So you put them in and lock them. And put that one in. Let's see now. It's got to turn a certain way. Got to turn. Okay. And it locks. Now you see, there's a there's a little thing right there that when you turn it, it locks into it. So that's the ballast weight. Look at that. <laughs> Just like real, right? And then, of course, your uh, outriggers would come out and hold that down. And, of course, I'm going to put these on later. I'm not going to waste your time with that. And I'm not going to waste your time with that. And uh, here are the mirrors. I'm not going to waste my time with that. And uh, the extra jibs. But I will push this down and see if I can get these to come out. I feel something move. Let's see. Might might have to get a little help. It says that they come out. So let's see. Oh, there it went. It moved. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there you have it. That's what that is. That's the uh the fake jib. I don't think these separate. No. No, they don't. That's just it right there. But I think the part on the end here does come off. This part. Let's see. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, yep, there it is. Because I knew it had to come off. So this is basically one piece. That there. And then we can start to assemble these booms. So, I guess that one would fit in there like that. And they, they snap. There's a little piece right there to snap. Right there. I don't know whether this is... Uh, I think that's something extra. Where's my knife? I don't think that's supposed to be on there. See that little piece right there? You, gotta, you wanna scrape that off. Let's see. 
Yep, there we go. Got that off. Because that's not going to allow it to go in there. All right. There we go. That's what was keeping that from sliding in, that little piece of plastic. I don't like those little tits anyway. There's another little tit. Get that off. Okay, so then you can have it with that much. And uh, I guess you would slide this piece back into that if that's all you need. No. No, that's not sliding back in there. But I don't see these coming apart. Maybe they do. Maybe they do come apart. No. Ain't nothing happening. No. No, I'm thinking that's one solid piece. I'm not sure about this one on the end, though. Let's see, does the, it looks like it's one solid piece to me. We don't want to break it, right? Nope. It ain't a coming. I think that's just a solid piece. Okay, then. So, of course, that can't go into there, but it'll certainly go into here. So that would be the end. Oop, wrong end, right? No, all right. So this is the baby end. Okay, because that that's the last piece. And that fits correctly. So we just keep building. They push together and they pull out. All right, and keep building until we get it. Wow, this, <laughs> this is a really long, long uh, boom, huh? Look at that. Do you see, you guys see this? Can you see this? That is long. Now, these don't slide in. That's it. That's what... This gives it the illusion that they're all slid in. But this here, and you can put this as uh, much as you want, I guess. I don't know. Let me see. All right, so we put that on. Wow. Woo. Look at that. I can't even put all of this in the screen. Maybe I'll do it like that. Can you, can you see it? <laughs> wow. Hold on a minute. I want to I wanna take, if I can... I'm going to take the, the phone and show you how tall this is. That's, that's a big boom. Goodness gracious, look at that. Wow. That is huge. I want to show you something. Hold on a second. I want to, I want to show you the difference. Now, I, I bought one of these. These, uh, I don't even know the name of it. I forgot what the name of it is. But I thought it was a pretty cool crane until I saw this one. Now, this crane, the Ballman, uh, I've seen them on sale for $129 plus shipping. And to me, that was a little much. That's why I ordered straight from Germany. And uh, let's see. It's called uh, PLUTHP. Plu, prof, whatever it is, model and spellware. Can you see that? You can take a picture of it. And that's where I ordered from. I know my name is on there and all that, but I ain't worried about that. But I, what I wanted to show you, now look at this, this crane. And watch the telescopicness of the boom. And uh, I got to I gotta get the key. Got this wind up tight. Let's see where did I put the key. Oops. Oh boy. 
I've been doing stuff. I've got to find a key. Hold on a minute. Oh, I found a key. Sorry about that. All right, so let's see what happens here. Oops, stop. Stop. Well, I gotta let this string down before we can uh, open this all the way up. But I want to show you this one costs more than that one. And that's as far as it goes. I'm going to let this down some more because I want to show you. It has better weights and all that. It's a much heavier crane. But it doesn't, that's it. It goes, it goes up. But this, this boom doesn't come out no further. That, that's all you get. It does go down. It has two rams, of course. You can see that. There's two rams. But it's not all that. I like the outriggers are better. As you can see. Outriggers are much better. They're bigger. See? Compared to those that are smaller. But we weren't doing the interview on that one. But I wanted to show you the difference. You pay more money and you get less less boom. But this one here is is very nice. Very nice. I mean, who could ask for anything more? All all of that length, all that lift. Look at that. There's three, four, five, six. Seven parts plus that. So let's see. Seven, yeah, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces for that. Now, I also see that they have the boom jig here, which I got to figure out what to do with that. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe these are bigger outriggers. Maybe that's what they are. I don't know. Let's see. Look, you guys are learning right along with me. Oh, I think so. Oh, look at that. Oh. Where did I learn something? Did you guys see that? Let me put this down. Turn this around. I'll be damned. Look at that. So that... That gives you more. Oh my goodness, look at that. The bigger the footprint, the better, right? That's what they say. All right, let's see if we can get it back in there. Huh. Do I have it upside down? I don't know. There we go. Yep, that one went in. And uh, this one will go in over here. You got to kind of like give them a little pinch. But look at that. Impressive. Impressive. If they can give them to stay in. <laughs> ah, look at that. Okay. Well, you get the idea. You get the idea. But you do have to, you have to pinch these. You have to pinch. Right there, you got to pinch that part for it to go in. But that, yeah, that makes a much bigger footprint, right? Now, that's better. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for the Ballman. And uh, this here, let me see if I can look underneath gently and see what this is because I don't even remember it's uh the WSI collectibles that's what it is WSI collectibles all right Phew. that's enough of that for today I'll tell you all right I hope you guys enjoyed that that's the best I can do on this video I'm not the, I'm not the best videographer uh, and that's the end.
from Conductor Roy. And I'm hurting today, guys. I got a bad back. The storm is coming in New Jersey. And uh, I'm doped up with Tylenol and other stuff. But no, no drug drugs. <laughs> but that's drugs, too. All right. Hey, like I always say, enjoy and thanks for watching.